in the gospel of mark he uses the word watch stay awake in the new testament there are 22 times we find the word stay awake be watchful be alert the greek word gregorete that means like a stay awake from the sleep you know usually during my homily people stay sleep and uh, <laughs> and uh, so i have to say i like this word gregorete stay awake for the collection no no <laughs> well you know you know i t- i know I, i told this story before i have to tell you this this is your penance to listen my story again second time okay uh, this is your advent penance okay you know <laughs> you know when i was uh, you know, this is my dream i am talking about my dream i had when i was a child you know from my village uh, uh walking to the school every day i have to walk through the woods to go to the school so certain night of course i had a dream the dream was on a certain day i was on my back having my backpack on i was on my way to the school okay then all of a sudden i saw you know i am in the dream right so a big elephant with the tuskers with the elephant with tuskers started chasing me and uh, i started running i start running and the elephant is almost near to me and i start running again i running again in the dream when you run you cannot run faster right it's almost like uh, i wanted to run faster but elephant is almost about hit me well you are afraid of elephants then uh, elephant and uh, you have an uh, idea right there okay what should i do i started climbing on a tree that is a great idea to climb on a tree and uh, then i thought okay that is the best best idea and i climbed on the tree and i start you know sat on one of the branches then i felt like great elephant is on the ground i am in the tree right in the branches among the branches i feel awesome safe after a few minutes here we go i started seeing a, a big snake coming from the branch <laughs> uh, you know snake i am really afraid of snake and uh, so elephant is on the ground the snake is there then what do you do <laughs> liam what do you do you scream yes you scream right you cry like a elef- you know snake is there elephant is there. you scream when you scream what happens you wake up when you wake up what happens you remember there is no elephant chasing you and there is no snake is there to bite you you are in the most safe safest place on this planet earth you are in your room your parents are sleeping next door and you are safe i remember this story especially in the time of advent season when we when i hear the word gregorete stay awake very often we are like running like somebody is chasing us right i have to do this i have to do that uh, you know i have to prepare rectory and uh, you know a lot of things confessions and uh, you know we are running shopping gifts a lot of things as if like we have to of course our mind our body have too many things going on very busy a lot of things going on and uh, here jesus is challenging us hello guys stop running there is nothing nobody is chasing you this season this four weeks are given to us to stay awake enjoy being in the presence of the lord that, that is why today the first weekend the it's a, that is why first week and the whole readings about stay awake the lord is coming so we are going to bless the advent wreath and we know the symbolism of advent wreath i mean it's it's a very late uh, uh, tradition i mean started in 19th century in germany but now it's part of our liturgy and uh, of course this round is symbolism of eternity and uh, you know uh, you know god is has no beginning no end eternal life we have no end we have eternal life and also we have four candles the our god is the light of the world the light of the world coming into the our world 
bringing light jesus christ is the new light giving us the light so we are we have a four candles the first candle we are light lighting today right the first candle is the light of hope people lived in darkness they have uh, the prophecies all the prophets were prophesying prophesying you have a new savior coming to save us all the prophets prophecies are going to be fulfilled hope people living in hope so we remember how hopeful we can become and uh, we remember the you know um, hope then uh, the second candle reminding ourselves joseph and mary walking uh, there having the faith that they may find a place for jesus to take birth right their faith and because they are who they are because of god's part of the god's salvation history so re- importance of remaining in faith then the third sunday joy right the pink candle the joy of the shepherds the innocence right listening to the word of god listening understanding the god, word becoming flesh jesus christ is taking birth they were so joyful innocence joy and uh, then the fourth candle symbolism of the peace right and uh, the angels announcing the peace to the whole world because christ is coming so which means like uh, there are people in our own lives in our own around, in our family they needed to experience the hope they need to be reminded stay hopeful everything will be okay everything will be okay there are people who go through tough times in this in this season because this season is really joyful right when you lose someone close to your heart you feel that empty chair it is not easy for them remember reminding them the you know stay hopeful and also remember you know tough times we all have uncertainties whether it is health or finance or whatever like joseph and mary god the creator of the whole universe trying to find a place on this planet earth to take birth reminding our people stay faithful everything will be okay and the innocence of the shepherds because there is lots of amazing things happening the lord is oh god is always in action if i are chasing myself if i am running too fast i cannot see i cannot see the god in action i have to stop running see the god in action that means helps me to understand lots of opportunities to be joyful like the shepherds then the peace that is the you know word becoming flesh the peace real peace that is the season all about so let us stay awake let us remember the beauty of this beautiful advent season and of course we have lots of busy things happening but in this midst we have let us have some silence in our life silence in our mind so that we can be joyful we can stay hopeful faithful and experience the real love and peace our lord wants us to experience the real heaven a little bit of heaven already here the complete in the, in the heavens are you staying awake <laughs> okay awesome awesome beautiful and uh, so i am so happy that uh, this weekend like uh, this mass is led by our third graders and i invite the third graders third graders third graders third grade scholars please come forward please come forward they are going to help me with lighting this advent candle today and help blessing the advent candle and uh, so they are thank you for your leadership and uh, thank you for coming here and with your parents okay so please come forward so we stay around here in the the, the advent wreath yes meanwhile uh, yeah please come yes let us stand and profess our faith and after the profession of faith we going to bless the candle okay so i believe in one god and the almighty is there
as Advent begins, we hear our Lord challenging us to be alert, stay awake, and ready for Him. The prayers we offer for others express a faith that is attentive and alive. That the Holy Catholic Church may be united in fidelity to the Pope and bishops. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That politicians may act with integrity and work with a heartfelt commitment to keep God's ways in mind. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That people distracted by worldly pleasures and the commercialization of the season may return to the saving grace of the Spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That each one of us gathered here may seek pardon and peace in the sacrament of penance. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace and reconciliation in the most worn, torn places in our world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, the homebound, those whose names are listed in the St. Charles prayer chain, and the dying, that they may look to Christ with hope and trust. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the blessed dead may join our Master's eternal happiness, especially John Palmisano, husband of Barbara Palmisano, who was buried this week. And for Joe Diller and Paul Mudd, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Do you want to call Liam? Book for me? Okay, awesome. Our response is, come Lord Jesus. Come Lord Jesus. Christ came to bring us salvation and has promised to come again. Let us pray that we may be always ready to welcome him. Come. That the keeping of Advent may open our hearts to God's love, we pray to the Lord. That the light of Christ may penetrate the darkness of sin, we pray to the Lord. Amen. That this wreath may constantly remind us to prepare for the coming of Christ, we pray to the Lord. Amen. That the Christ Christmas season may fill us with peace and joy as we strive to follow the example of Jesus, we pray to the Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Lord God, your church joyfully awaits the coming of its Savior, who enlightens our hearts and dispels the darkness of ignorance and sin. Pour forth your blessings upon us as we light the candles of this wreath. May their light reflect the splendor of Christ, who is Lord forever and ever. Amen. Hello, guys. We are all going to stand, uh, hold this. We can hold. Yeah. Do you want to hold? We are going to light this candle, okay? <laughs> 